And today, this is where EM comes in. Because it is a tool, please remember this, it is not the, it is a tool for overcoming these problems and to promote environmental purification and animal health. And if you look at the proceedings of the USA Nature Farming Conferences from 1990 to 2001, which was held here in New Zealand in Christchurch, you will see results of experiments showing this. Now what is EM? You know, technology was developed by this gentleman, Professor Higa, he was, during the time when he was a professor of horticulture at the University of Ryukyu in southern Japan, in Okinawa, in an island. It was developed in the late 1970s and early 1980s, right, and was blended into nature farming in 1983. What is EM? Basically, just three species, and my traffic has one of these somewhere, you know. Three species blended together, phototrophic bacteria where you find, which you find in all environments, lactic acid bacteria which you have in your daily yogurt, and yeast which you have in your daily bread. These things, these three species are blended together in an acidic medium, and that is the technology of the medium. What does it do? In any environment we have microbes, some of them are good, some of them are bad, and the majority are neutral. I often take this example of politics of a country. You have diehard on one camp, diehards on the other, and the floating population, <coughs> and the people who are coming, <coughs> putting them up, putting themselves up for election, try to capture this word back, the neutrals, because they would shift the balance in New Zealand between Labour and the Nationals. What does EM do? It tries to shift the balance, stimulate the growth of the beneficial organisms. So it is not a replacement but a stimulant. There is enough research now to show that EM has increased the rhizobial populations of soil. It has increased the mycorrhizal populations. That it has increased the soil respiration. All moving towards developing a better rhizosphere for crop growth. And these three species combined together produces the power of EM. Today, EM is not only used in agriculture, but I'll tell you why. Now, these are some of the benefits. EM promotes growth, and there's enough literature, not only even produced by Japan, but even in other countries. Promotes crop growth and yields, it helps enhances the photosynthetic capacity of plants, increases the efficacy of organic matter by producing better compost in a shorter period of time, develop resistance to, of plants to pests and diseases by increasing the vigor of the plant, improves soil properties, suppresses soil-borne pathogens by shifting uh, pathogens and pests by shifting the balance of microbes to a more conducive uh, environment, promotes animal growth and health, and develops the environment. And today, a particular type of EM is used for in health and even in cosmetics. This last one is a derivative of EM. It's not this particular product, but it is a derivative of EM. Now, you might think that this is magic. No. EM has to be used and the products of EM has to be used according to its given instructions to achieve these. Just don't think that by pouring this EM it will work. It has to be done according to a particular method which is available today. Right? You can take the example of an egg. egg you can make an omelette, you can have boiled, poached, fried, scrambled, it can go into 
your cakes, it can go into your waffles, it can go into your pancakes. But you can't put an omelette made out of an egg into a pancake. It's like that. You can't make scrambled eggs. You can't make scrambled eggs by taking cake because there's egg in it. No. There is a specific recipe for its use. But it can be used in all aspects of ecological management. And therefore EM is available in many, many countries and I'll tell you how many. So what is the scope of EM? The first, in crop growth. It enriches soil quality and also plant biodiversity. You can in intercropping systems, companion cropping systems, EM is very effective. You can easily make good quality compost in a shorter period of time using this technology by improving the fermentative process. Organic crop production, vegetables grown with EM in an organic system. Even in hydroponics and even in greenhouses, EM has been used to break down or develop a good quality planting material that goes into these trays. And it is done in, in crop production by enriching the microbes <coughs> and the diversity in the rice of seed. It does get on to animal production. Again, there is enough literature to show it increases feed conversion efficiency by moving the flora of the intestines of animals to a better and more digestive process. Suppresses odor, reduces harmful insects, increases fecundity, reduces stress factors, provides good bedding, enriches feed and fodder because this is a very good example you have in Switzerland where and Germany and in Austria, where EM is used in their organic milk production and lowers the need for medicines, disinfectants, etc., because of a better environment. It is used in sanitation. The biggest problem of sanitation is the smell. If it doesn't smell, we don't worry too much about it. EM can effectively be used to control the smell and also enhance the breakdown of sludge in septic tanks. Wastewater and effluent. And this is used. These are actual living examples of how EM is being used very effectively. Water control. This is scientific literature done by Malaysia because in Malaysia, growing Islamic country, having swine is a big problem. And the Chinese market demands that they need pork. Soil production is important. That's done principally by the Chinese. And this was an experiment done not too long ago, in 2010, by an Islamic scientist in the Department of Veterinary Science in Selangor, where they showed that using EM, you reduce the production of ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, which are the two smelly gases. Fish farming, this is in Austria, where they are using EM for cleaning the water and also promoting the growth of fish. Even in Thailand, people who have been to Salabur would know that the catfish there, which is eaten by the Thai people, they get good quality harvest in a shorter period of time using EM. Even the city of Basel, which has the head office of Syngenta, they are trying to grow green and they are promoting organic uh, urban gardening. They are using compost to produce some of their green waste. Wastewater treatment in Brazil. I'm showing examples of the scope that EM has, where this river which has polluted and flows into the river uh, sea with EM has been cleaned up. Shrimp farming in Ecuador. And I've taken most of these examples from the southern hemisphere for the mere fact that New Zealand is also has got a winter in June, July, August. One of the 
there's a big demand for organic cocoa production today because of organic chocolates. They believe that organic cocoa has a greater quantity of antioxidants than conventionally produced. And in the Dominican Republic, they have large plantations of organic cocoa. And the biggest problem they have is to break down the shell of the cocoa pod, which is 60% of the harvested pod, and make it into organic fertilizer. And what do they do? They use EM, mixed with chicken manure. And a good quality compost is made from this high fibrous material. Even they are using EM in even cleaning up a part of the lake Titicaca. You know this, Peru. It's a special lake because it's a 4,000 meters above sea level. So, can this be done? Yes. It's very easy. It can be done. And Today, it is being practiced in many countries around the world. 